Okay. This has been a well-kept secret. The secret's out of the bag. Not, not today. <laughs> oh, you're not gonna believe this. Are you kidding me? That's so awesome. I think New Brunswick has smallmouth bass, Peter. You figure? Oh my God, there's this river's loaded. Gotta love it. The Fish in Canada Show, brought to you in part by Coleman, the outdoor company, Cooper Tires, Prince Craft Boats, dominate the waters, and Garmin, fight your fish, not your fish finder. Today, we find ourselves on the St. John River in New Brunswick, one of the most famous salmon rivers in the world. But much like the last time we were in this area, we're not in pursuit of Atlantic salmon. Last season, we were on the legendary Miramichi, a couple hundred kilometers from here, chasing down big striped bass, an extraordinary sport fishery that we were introduced to by good friend Jeff Wilson, an East Coast tournament promoter and avid angler. He also advised us to experience the exceptional smallmouth bass fishing on the St. John River. So now you know why we're here. The question is, why are all these bass here in a salmon river? And why didn't we know about it sooner? What we do know is that in the 50s, after the government dammed up the St. John River for hydropower, the lakes that subsequently formed were perfect ecosystems for our little bronze friend to flourish. From there, the smallmouth population literally exploded up, out, and down this entire watershed. Of course, wherever you have bass, you eventually have bass tournaments, complete with hardcore bassaholics, and New Brunswick is no exception. The New Brunswick Sport Fishing Association is a, it's an angler owned uh, series. Uh, the, the directors are volunteers, we run it. Uh, all the money goes back to the anglers minus the expenses of running it, like insurance. We run seven qualifiers and with two day championship and we pay with some serious money. Although bass tournaments seem to have been a local secret here for about 30 years or so, with relatively small fields and purses, today the cat's definitely out of the bag with big events boasting 50 and 60 boats with up to $16,000 in cash and prizes up for grabs. For the next few days, Ange and I will explore this river and its little tributaries and see what all the hubbub's about. There he is. Yeah, perfect. Nice. Okay, so we know there's some males here. Yeah. I think that's my first New Brunswick smallmouth. Not much to show, but <laughs> you just start. Boy, I'll tell you what, if this current, if we catch a four pounder in this current, we're gonna be hurting. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. Not tiny. Where's your mama? Yep. Dancing with the smallies. <laughs> oh my God, I think that's a record. Go ahead. You know what the best thing about catching 100, two and a half pounders is? Why? They'd be a pound bigger than the ones we're getting. <laughs> uh, well, what do you got here? Granola bars. Yeah. Oh my God, boys. This Anybody is... want a granola bar? I think I got a granola bar on the end of this bait. They're very small. We either have to upsize them or do something different to get the females. A little sunshine might turn them on. We need the females to make a move. This area is loaded with bass. Unfortunately, most of them are on the small side. Not exactly what we drove all the way down here for. But with so many fish in one area, strange things are bound to happen. Oh, you're not gonna believe this. Two fish. No way, two fish. Two fish, look at this. You think these things are aggressive? Are you kidding me? That's so awesome. They're stacked in here, obviously. Two small, small mouth on the same bait. You win today, buddy, no matter that, what. You're never gonna beat that. You Paula. win. You're never gonna beat that. <laughs> you know, it felt like there was some weight there, but it felt strained. Yeah, you got a single ah. double header. How was that, buddy? <laughs> now what? Oh boy. <laughs> Yep. Boy, Boy they, they pull. Oh my God, they pull. He's making a nice little wake though. <laughs> yes. That fish, taking you around the back. 
That would be so cool if the little guys stopped. Yeah. Well, and let's the big see. guys come in? Yeah. Put the net here. Hang on. Yeah. Yeah. That's a net fish. That's the one female that the 300 males are hanging around right there. <laughs> but that's a good fish, buddy. There you go. There you go. That's good more job. like a smallmouth, isn't that's it? That's what you want right there. Here's a New Brunswick smallie. I love it. You know, it's amazing how these fish have caught on, eh? I mean, caught on in the sense that since the 1800s when they were first put in these systems all over Canada. Yep. And it's not until, I would say, the last 30 years that people have even been noticing them and started fishing for them. But up until then, they were just roaming around free. Nobody's after them. They're, they, and, and in water like this, they're probably one of the most aggressive predators out here. I would imagine they're feeding on just about everything. That's nice. Good job, bud. Pretty fish too, huh? Ooh. <laughs> Fantastic. And right under, by the way, right under Canada's Longest covered bridge. Correct. The Heartland uh, covered bridge is called. Heartland covered bridge. Isn't that thing beauty? All right, in you go, babe. Good job. That's a three and a half. Yep. Okay, they're here. I'm a believer. Take okay, 20 of those in a day. No kidding. Shorts are going to come out. Get nice out. Our next spot is a beautiful little offshoot of the main river. The problem is, we're totally distracted by the gorgeous scenery. It's kind of hard to believe that such a sweet little honey hole could harbor a whole whack of smallies. Oh, a jumper, we finally, Fine, got, finally. finally got a jumper. Maybe because the water's warming up. I don't know, but. It is 57.73. See, that's jumping weather. Take 20 of those in a day. No kidding. <laughs> For fun? Especially in a little place like this. I mean, that's that's the bonus. That's eh? a cool spot. I mean, great to get, don't get me wrong, it'd be great to get a three or four pounder out of here, but a whack of those in this little cut, I mean, it's so picturesque. Fantastic. <laughs> Oh, what? I don't know. I mean, it, felt, it felt good at first, but I don't know if he is now or not. That's a nice fish. Oh yeah, this is a good one. Better. What an awesome little spot! Look at that. Got him. Just the I think that's a very typical spa, uh, small smallmouth nice. in this in this area right here. So, you, there, you know, a giant here is a five pounder versus, you know, back in Ontario where you're going to get sixes and sevens. But I think they're going to get here someday. They're going to they'll get bigger. They just got need some time. Talk to me, girl. Good. Come on, be a good one. I think he's okay. I think you got a good fish. Long fish. Oh, yeah, I think it's a good fish. one. Yeah. You want the net? Uh, yeah, this one I think we might yeah, want. Yeah, I think this is a net. <laughs> got it. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a nice one. Nice one, buddy. Good. Yeah, that's There better. you go. There Look at the go. size of that thing. That's wow. a smallie for a tucked away stream like this, wow. eh? Wow. Wow. That's cool. It's the same thing as you nice. did. It's right up in the middle of the, of the channel. Yeah. That's nice. a nice little smallie for a tiny little piece of water like this. A creek, Hard I guess this believe, is. Hard to believe, so many right? in here. Yeah. How competitive is it down there? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's probably what, a couple hundred fish in here oh, at least, with the at little least. guys in, involved too. At least. Let's see you later, there, little fella. That was on a drop shot. I was a really lightweight to try and stay out of the rocks. Still get snagged up, but I'm not as light as I possibly can to still get it down there and work it. Just a little shad shaped worm, little, little three and a half. Yep, little <laughs> tiny little worm. Always works for us. Uh, I love the go to, it. right? I the love absolute it. go to on a drop shot for I us. I love it. There you go. Oh, that's a bigger fish. That sounds good. Yeah. Oh, fatty. Yeah, baby. Yeah, sound okay. Yeah. Ooh, he's coming up. Oh, that's a nice smallmouth. Uh, that's a nice fish. 
Okay, let's see about getting you in the, in the basket. Ooh, yes, that's nice. Oh, yeah, that's a great fish. In New Brunswick. Now, let's see, we've caught smallmouth in BC. We've caught bass in Saskatchewan. Of course, Manitoba's loaded with Ontario. Quebec. Quebec. And now here in the East Coast, New yeah. Brunswick Smalley. Look at that. <laughs> They're going to enjoy this fishery, man. The more people get oh, onto this. The more this. people. Now, the fish have been here for 100 years, but nobody fishes them. Nobody's really aware of them, and they're not really considered a sport fish. But uh, it soon awesome. will be. Well, especially when they get that size right there. Mute. Good job, bud. What do you got, Mr. Bowman? I, I got one popped me right by the boat on a crank, buddy. Well, I heard this, the commotion. I don't want him going the trolling motor. I can't I see so him yet. Look at you. A uh, net. Yeah, with this bait, we might want to net him just in case. Or belly him. Yeah, he's a decent fish. Whoa, whoa. Here we go. There you go. Nice. Nice. Real nice. Not man. bad. Not bad at all. <laughs> Uh, and he came out of the water at that. Wow. Look at that fish. That's beautiful. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I think New Brunswick has smallmouth bass, Peter. You figure? Nice. Beautiful. New Brunswick smallie. That's what we came here for. And in this setting, that. too, huh? Oh, I mean, that's the most look at this. spectacular part. This is unbelievable. <laughs> Coming up these little creeks on the, on the St. John River, you sneak up these little creeks. You know, early in the year, I'm sure the fish are here all year, some of these oh, fish, right? Oh, the sure. current coming down, we oh, see, yeah. we've seen tons of panfish and bait fish in here. Beautiful smallmouth. Yes, thanks, buddy, for hitting my little crankbait without me even knowing it. <laughs> and my unconfident casting that I was doing. Just sitting there looking around, casting, blah, 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 talking to you. <laughs> what? And, and you know, the thing is, it's, it's pretty easy to get distracted when you're fishing this type of, uh, oh, of river because you're just, I mean, look at it. <laughs> One beautiful mist after another. Yeah, absolutely. That is crazy. That's my Senko that's orange and brown. And look at the claws sticking out of his mouth there, that crayfish. That's as close to matching the forage as you're going to get. Smallie. Scoop. Wacky rig Senko, no weight. They can be deadly. Large mouth, small mouth, and probably other species too. Population's incredible here. This is just, there's nuts how many small mouth bass are in this system. Okay. Tell you, if this has been a well kept secret, the secret's out of the back. Not, to, not today. <laughs> <laughs> this is smallmouth capital. Oh, pulling the friggin' Ooh. drag on you. We have an insane fish, man. It's crazy. I love those things. How can you not love smallmouth bass fishing, man? Ah, gotta love it. Oh my God, there's, this river's loaded with fish. Like everybody says there's thousands upon thousands, and it's true. He's not bad. Again, very, seems to be a real typical size in here. 62.3, colder than yesterday. Yeah. Those shorts are in my memory only now. As is quite typical here in the Maritimes, the temperature changes come fast and furious. So you find yourself constantly changing not only your clothing, but your presentation as well. 
It's a never-ending struggle trying to figure out what they're feeding on. But every once in a while, the fish gives up another piece of the puzzle. Look at the crayfish he's got in his gut. That's my Sanko that's orange and brown. And look at the claws sticking out of his mouth there, that crayfish. <laughs> orange and brown, the same color. That is crazy. There's my orange bait. Look at this. That's as close to matching the forage as you're going to get. Look at this. How cool is that? <laughs> There's an East Coast double header. Look at this. I can't get over that. That's amazing. <laughs> hey, nice. That's awesome. That fish followed Angus fish, as typically smallmouth do. And that's one of maybe more, you know, two or three of them that might have followed it. I can't believe how well that matched that crayfish. Yeah, that's perfect. Absolutely perfect. <laughs> that's why you use orange early in the year too, yeah. right? A lot of yeah. guys do reds and orange. Yeah. Good fish. Today's great smallmouth hotspot is on the Nakowick Stream, which is a branch off the St. John River in New Brunswick. The waypoint on your screen will get you there. Early season smallie angling can have the fish in a variety of moods, so a variety of baits and presentations are a must. We did really well on unweighted 4-inch Yamamoto Sankos, with brighter colors being the best for that day. Oddly enough, black might be the color of choice on the following day. Be versatile. Use either light fluorocarbon or braided line tied directly to the reel, or tie a fluorocarbon leader onto light braid. Either one will work. If you're using unweighted plastics in strong winds, add just a touch of weight as the bait being on or near the bottom is the key. For more hotspots like this one, check out fishingcanada.com. That came right out after you, man. Oh, that was nice. That's the one. I don't think he is, buddy. I don't know. No? I don't know. He's fighting one of those lethargic jobs again, you know? You know what? I bet you this fish was caught lately. Yeah, maybe that's why he's kind of lazy. Such a good area this is. Now he's fighting. He just woke up? Yeah, I just woke up like that. I thought he was a monster when he came across there. <laughs> That's the big fish of the day. Daddy, isn't it? Long and fat. He's got everything. <laughs> Get on. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's a nice He's getting bat. there. He's getting there for sure. Right, look at this. He's barely, barely in the top. Right there at the top. Perfect. Wow. That's a beauty, man. He's got a, what looks to me like another hook mark. Is it? Know. Wouldn't surprise me. Right yeah, right there, for sure. Like I'm right there on the top of the mouth, and that's a little hook mark right there as well. So he's probably been hooked before. And again, as we always say, that's the beauty of catch and release right there. Gorgeous fish. Caught decently. But not, not, not as much as he should have. Exactly. Huh? But that's why I think he might have been caught before. Yeah. Hey, you bud. Right by my sinkhole there. Nice. <laughs> Fun. This is a great little wow, fishery these guys got here. This river, are. the St. John, and its tributaries is a huge surprise for us. The quantity and quality of these fish in this water is staggering. That there's so little fishing for these smallies is even more remarkable. New Brunswick has once again proven itself worthy as a prime destination for anglers of all preferences. Blue water for tuna, moving water for stripers, and now fresh water for smallmouth bass. Bravo, New Brunswick. Bravo. <sighs>
And when you look at the numbers of smallies in this particular location on the St. John River in New Brunswick, it certainly makes us wonder just how many fish are in this part of the country. With numerous lakes, rivers, and even ponds, let's just say that Canada's East Coast smallmouth fishery is growing at an exponential rate. The Fish in Canada Show, brought to you in part by Ram Trucks, Guts, Glory, Ram. Stearns, trusted on the water since 1952. Mercury Outboards, number one on the water. And Outdoor Canada, Canada's only national fishing and hunting magazine. Closed captioning provided by Lithium Pros, the one battery you need.